Hello, welcome back to Silo Space. Thank you everyone for dropping your comments and for those that notice the images. I really appreciate. I am always very happy when I see your comments on how to improve. Okay, so as usual, every Monday as promised, new question and answer session will be dropped right here on Silo Space. So today's session, I will be dividing it also into three category so keep watching out on this space weekly every monday for recent updates on this topic do leave your comments on the comment section as i would love to um, read your comments and also reply them as it helps improve my work if you find this content useful and helpful please subscribe click on the like button comment share to your friends someone out there might just need this to pass that interview or that exam you can also tap on the notification bell to get notified of every new video that will definitely be every monday so today's session will be divided into three categories the first category will be on safety that's survival craft rescue boats the second category will be on engineering main proportion turbine boilers that's a very nice topic there then the last category will be on navigation we'll be taking ship maneuvering and handling so stay right there as we navigate as we go through this video together once again if you enjoyed this video i hope to really hear from you i want to see those comments and know how i improve this video please note that although the different answers from this research has been proven to be correct but with your personal research, you can clear any doubt you may have concerning any question. Stay right in. Thank you for watching Sailor Space as we keep progressing. So our first category to be discussed today will be on questions and answers on survival craft and rescue craft. This session is for both navigators and engineers. The ship's training manual must contain instructions and information on the life-saving appliances carried on board, which of these duties must also be included? The ship's training manual must contain instructions and information on the life-saving appliances carried on board, which of these instructions must also be included? Option A. Correct donning of fire protective clothing. Option B. Correct method for use of the onboard communication system option c correct method of release of survival craft from launching appliances option d correct use of oars in survival craft answer option c correct method of release of survival craft from launching appliances which of these requirements regarding life boys correspond to the solar regulations which of these requirements regarding life boys corresponds to the solar regulations? Option A. It must have sufficient air. Option B. It must be constructed of inherently buoyant material. Option C. If fitted with light or smoke signal, it must have a mass less than 4 kg. Option D. It must have a mass greater than 2.5 kg. Answer. Option B. It must be constructed of inherently buoyant material. What is the purpose of the control position on an enclosed lifeboat? What is the purpose of the control position on an enclosed lifeboat? Option A. It facilitates entering the names of all persons on board. This is essential record keeping requirement. Option B. It is for sending out distress messages given the ship's last loan position. Option C. It's the position from which the boat is steered and the safety systems are operated. Option D. It's a place reserved for injured persons. Answer. Option C. It's the position from which the boat is steered and the safety systems are operated. What is a rescue sub center? In bracket RSC. What is a rescue sub center? 
in bracket RSC. Option A, a national search and rescue center supported to an international search and rescue coordinating center. Option B, a unit subordinate to a rescue coordinating center. Option C, a center established to assist the main national rescue center. Option D, a center for underwater search and rescue operation. Answer, option B, a unit subordinate to a rescue coordinating center. What is a rescue unit? In bracket, are you? What is a rescue unit? In bracket, are you? Option A, a unit ready for search and rescue operations at sea any time of the day. Option B, a unit composed of trained personnel suitably equipped for expeditious search and rescue. Option C, a permanently manned rescue vessel. Option D, a unit specializing in search and rescue operations at sea. Answer, option B, a unit composed of trained personnel suitably equipped for expeditious search and rescue. Self-igniting light on life buoys must either burn continuously or flash at a specified rate for a period of at least dash. Self-igniting light on life buoys must either burn continuously or flash at a specified rate for a period of at least dash. Option A, 30 minutes. Option B, 1 hour. Option C, 90 minutes. Option D, 2 hours. Answer, option D, 2 hours. The ship's training manual must contain instructions and information on the life-serving appliances carried on board. Which of these duties must be included? The ship's training manual must contain instructions and information on the life-saving appliances carried on board. Which of these duties must be included? Option A. Correct donning of life jacket. Option B. Correct use of us and sails for survival craft. Option C. Correct use of communication equipment. Option D. Correct donning of protective clothing. Answer. Option A. Correct donning of life jacket. Which of these requirements regarding the launching and recovery arrangement for rescue boats corresponds to the SOLAS regulations? Which of these requirements regarding the launching and recovery arrangement for rescue boats corresponds to the SOLAS regulations? Option A. Embarkation and launching arrangement shall be such that the rescue boats can be boarded and launched in less than 5 minutes. Option B. The release mechanism shall be of an automatic type approved by the Flag State Administration. Number C. Rapid recovery shall be possible with the boat's full complement of persons and equipment. Option D. Launching shall be possible with a headway speed of up to 5 knots in heavy weather. Answer. Option C. Rapid recovery shall be possible with the boat's full complement of persons and equipment. The ship's training manual must contain instructions and information on the life-saving appliances carried on board. Which of these duties must be included? The ship's training manual must contain instructions and information on the life-saving appliances carried on board. Which of these duties must be included? Option A. Correct use of us and cells for survival craft. Option B. Correct downing of protective clothing. Option C. Correct method of revival of casualties. Option D. Correct launching, boarding and clearing of survival craft and rescue craft. Answer. Option D. Correct launching, boarding and clearing of survival craft and rescue craft. How many hand flares should each lifeboat normally carry? How many hand flares should each lifeboat normally carry? Option A, 2. Option B, 4. Option C, 6. Option D, 10. Answer, option C, 6. The next category to be considered on this session is question and answer 
on main propulsion turbine boilers for engineers. On a steamship at sea, electricity is supplied by dash. On a steamship at sea, electricity is supplied by dash. Option A, turbo alternators. Option B, the main engine. Option C, gas turbines. Option D, diesel engines. Answer, option A, turbo alternators. What part in this diagram is the low pressure turbine? What part in this diagram is the low pressure turbine? Option A, 1. Option B, 4. Option C, 2. Option D, 3. Answer, option A, 1. In a modern steam turbine, steam is prevented from leaking along the shaft by dash. In a modern steam turbine, steam is prevented from leaking along the shaft by dash. Option A, the blading. Option B, the inlet nozzle. Option C, a labyrinth seal. Option D, high temperature packing. Answer, option C, a labyrinth seal. Boiler feed water is water dash. Boiler feed water is water dash. Option A, mixed with fuel oil and burnt as waste oil. Option B, used to cool steam turbines. Option C, used to cool steam back into water. Option D, taken from the condenser and fed back to the boiler. Answer, option D, taken from the condenser and fed back to the boiler. Regarding feed water, which of the following statement is not true? Regarding feed water, which of the following statement is not true? Option A. Steam turns to feed water in the condenser. Option B. Feed water in high pressure boilers is normally pumped with a single stage centrifugal pump. Option C. It is fresh water. Option D. It is turned into steam in the boiler. Answer. Option B, feed water in high pressure boilers is normally pumped with a single stage centrifugal pump. Which alarm and shutdown device is fitted on the truss bearing assembly? Which alarm and shutdown device is fitted on the truss bearing assembly? Option A, the low loop oil flow alarm. Option B, the steam pressure reducing alarm. Option C, the cooling water alarm option d the axial clearance alarm answer option d the axial clearance alarm the condenser in a steam plant is where dash the condenser in a steam plant is where dash option a low pressure steam is produced option b water is turned into steam option c Steam is turned back into water. Option D. Electricity is supplied. Answer. Option C. Steam is turned back into water. What kind of steam is feeding the Asten turbine fitted on the same rotor as the low pressure turbine? What kind of steam is feeding the Asten turbine fitted on the same rotor as the low pressure turbine? Option A, exhaust steam from the high pressure turbine. Option B, reduced superheated steam via a pressure reducer. Option C, steam from the main steam manifold via maneuvering stand. Option D, regenerated steam via re superheater. Answer, option C, steam from the main steam manifold via maneuvering stand. What kind of shaft seals are used on this high pressure turbine? What kind of shaft seals are used on this high pressure turbine? Option A, mechanical seals. Option B, vacuum seals. Option C, counterbalancing seals. Option D, labyrinth seals. Answer, option D, labyrinth seals. High pressure steam turbines are dash. 
High pressure steam turbines are dash. Option A. Larger than low pressure turbines. Option B. Smaller than low pressure turbines. Option C. Directly coupled to the propeller shaft. Option D. Powered by feed water. Answer. Option B. Smaller than low pressure turbines. Which of the following statements regarding steam turbines is not true? Which of the following statements regarding steam turbines is not true? Option A. The high pressure turbine is smaller than the low pressure turbine. Option B. The high pressure turbine receives the steam before the low pressure turbine. Option C. The high pressure turbine is a faster rotating machine than a diesel engine. Option D. From the high pressure turbine, the steam then goes to the condenser. Answer. Option D. From the high pressure turbine, the steam then goes to the condenser. Serious tube leakage in the air ejector condenser assembly will cause dash. Serious tube leakage in the air ejector condenser assembly will cause dash. Option A. Fault nozzles. Option B. Clock steam strainers. Option C. Faulty steam pressure. Option D. Loss of vacuum. Answer. Option D. Loss of vacuum. What is part number three? What is part number three? Option A. Turbine coupling. Option B. Turbine drive gear drain. Option C. Turbine bearing. Option D. Turbine electromagnetic clutch. Answer. Option B. Turbine drive gear drain. Modern high pressure boilers produce which of the following? Modern high pressure boilers Produce which of the following? Option A. Fresh water for drinking. Option B. Superheated steam. Option C. Feed water. Option D. Saturated steam. Answer. Option B. Superheated steam. Superheated steam is steam dash. Superheated steam is steam dash. Option A, that can be used for heating the accommodation. Option B, that is mixed with water vapor. Option C, that has been condensed. Option D, that has been heated until it is dry. Answer, option D, that has been heated until it is dry. Which way does the steam pass through in the system? Which way does the steam pass through in the system? Option A, from the condenser to the low pressure turbine. Option B, from the high pressure turbine to the low pressure turbine. Option C, from the supply valve to the high pressure turbine. Option D, from the low pressure turbine to the high pressure turbine. Answer, option B, from the high pressure turbine to the low pressure turbine. Name the two different lubrication oil circuits of a steam turbine. Name the two different lubrication oil circuits of a steam turbine. Option A, the truss bearing and shaft circuit and the front and governor circuit. Option B, the front bearing circuit and the rear bearing circuit. Option C, the reduction gear oil and the turbine shaft bearing oil. Option D, the bearing and gear oil circuit and the governor oil circuit answer option d the bearing and gear oil circuit and the governor oil circuit which of the following statement regarding main boilers is not true which of the following statement regarding main boilers is not true option a at least two safety valves will be fitted option b the burners could be at the top firing down. Option C. The feed water need not be very pure. Option D. The superheated steam pressure could be as much as 60 bar. Answer. Option C. 
the feed water need not be very pure. Turbo alternators perform which of the following tasks? Turbo alternators perform which of the following tasks? Option A. Supplying electricity from diesel engines. Option B. Supplying electricity on steamships when the main boiler is operating. Option C. Supplying electricity on steamships when the main boiler is shut down. Option D. Supply electricity on a motor ship. Answer. Option B. Supply electricity on steamships when the main boiler is operating. Which part in this diagram is the high pressure turbine? Which part in this diagram is the high pressure turbine? Option A. 1. Option B. 6. Option C. 4. Option D. 2. Answer. Option D. 2. The final category on this session is on questions and answer on ship maneuvering and handling for the navigators. Your vessel is to turn in a narrow canal by use of one tug. In bracket, turn to port with the bow. In which position and how would you use the tug? In bracket, vessel's engine will be used as well. Your vessel is to turn in a narrow canal by use of one tug. In bracket, turn to port with the bow. In which position and how would you use the tug? In bracket, vessel's engine will be used as well. Option A. Make the tug fast on starboard shoulder to push. Option B. Make the tug fast on port shoulder to pull. Option C. Make the tug fast aft for pulling. Option D. Make the tug fast in center. Now fair lead for pulling. Answer. Option B. Make the tug fast on port shoulder to pull. Your vessel is to unmoor. Two tugs will assist at the unmooring. Which position and how do you want to use the tug? Your vessel is to unmoor. Two tugs will assist at the unmooring. Which position and how do you want to use the tugs? Option A. Pushing on vessel's flat side to keep the vessel in position when unmooring. Option B. Make fast the forward tug and the aft tug standby. Option C. Make fast on ship's flat side to keep the vessel in position when unmooring and pull vessel out from the jetty. Option D. Fast forward and aft in center lead to pull the vessel out from the jetty and make it in position for voyage. Answer. Option D. Fast forward and aft in center lead to pull the vessel out from the jetty and make it in position for voyage. What is the most dangerous overtaking situation? shown on the sketches what is the most dangerous overtaking situation shown on the sketches option a a small vessel overtaking a large vessel with big difference in speed between the two vessels option b a large vessel overtaking a small vessel with big difference in speed between the two vessel option c a large vessel overtaking a small vessel with a little difference in speed between the two vessels. Option D, a small vessel overtaking a large vessel with a little difference in speed between the two vessels. Answer, option C, a large vessel overtaking a small vessel with a little difference in speed between the two vessels. Your ship is operating with a right-handed propeller. Which angle of approach is most favorable? No wind or current. Your ship is operating with a right-handed propeller. Which angle of approach is most favorable? No wind or current. Option A. I will leave it to the pilot. Option B. Number 1. Option C. Number 2. Option D. Number 3. Answer. Option C. Number 2. Your ship is going astern. Right-handed propeller as sketched below. 
how is the ship most likely to react your ship is going as stand right-handed propeller as sketch below how is the ship most likely to react option a the stand will fall off to starboard option b the ship will go straight as stand option c the bow will go to port option d the stand will back into the wind answer option d the stand will back into the wind the vessel will anchor with pilots on board you are the duty officer on the bridge what is your main duty the vessel will anchor with pilot on board you are the duty officer on the bridge what is your main duty option a check the position only option b follow the master's order option c no duty when pilot is on board option d follow pilot's order answer option a check the position only how is bank effect felt in a vessel how is bank effect felt in a vessel option a the whole vessel is drawn in parallel to the nearest bank option b the whole vessel is pushed away parallel to the nearest bank option c the vessel's bow is pushed away from the nearest bank option d the vessel's stern is pushed away from the nearest bank answer option c the vessel's bow is pushed away from the nearest bank you want to turn your vessel in a narrow canal by use of two socks with same power the wind varies in the range moderate or strong where or how will the docks be used you want to turn your vessel in a narrow canal by use of two torques with same power the wind varies in the range moderate or strong where or how will the docks be used option a pushing not made fast in the vessel option b pulling made fast in the vessel option c one torque pushing one torque pulling Option D, pushing, made fast in the vessel. Answer, option D, pushing, made fast in the vessel. How will the ship behave if you have a blackout in the situation sketch below? How will the ship behave if you have a blackout in the situation sketch below? Option A, she will continue on course and the speed will slowly drop. Option B, she will turn to starboard and the speed will slowly drop. Option C. The wind will not affect the speed whatsoever. Option D. She will turn to port and the speed will drop gradually. Answer. Option D. She will turn to port and the speed will drop gradually. How is shallow water effect felt in a vessel? How is shallow water effect felt in a vessel? Option A. The vessel becomes sluggish in responding to the rudder. Option B. The vessel has a tendency to turn to port. In bracket, right turning propeller. Option C. The vessel responds very quickly to the rudder. Option D. The vessel has a tendency to turn to starboard. In bracket, left turning propeller. Answer. Option A. The vessel becomes sluggish in responding to the rudder. Your ship is operating with a right-handed propeller. Before coming astern, how should you apply the rudder? Your ship is operating with a right-handed propeller. Before coming astern, how should you apply the rudder? Option A. As with number 3. Option B. I think the speed is too slow. Option C. As with number 2. Option D. As with number one, answer option C. As with number two, you are bet with a steady offshore beam wind of 30 knots. This wind suddenly increases to 60 knots. When this happens, the force driving the vessel off bed will be you are bet with a steady offshore beam wind of 30 knots. This wind suddenly increases to 60 knots. When this happens, the force driving the vessel off bed will be option A, queen to pulled, option B, doubled, option C, tripled, 
Option D. Quadrupled. Answer. Option D. Quadrupled. What is the reason for the effect we call SWAT? What is the reason for the effect we call SWAT? Option A. The bow and stern wave make the ship sink lower in the water. Option B. Increased effect of gravity due to closeness of the seabed. Option C. Decreased velocity and increased water pressure around the ship's hull. Option D. Increased velocity and decreased water pressure around the ship's hull. Answer. Option D. Increased velocity and decreased water pressure around the ship's hull. You are about to pass another ship in a closed situation. What can happen in this situation? You are about to pass another ship in a closed situation. What can happen in this situation? Option A. Your ship will not be affected in this situation. Option B. Due to suction, the two ships will be sucked together. Option C. The two ships will be pushed towards the banks. Option D. The bow of your ship will be sucked towards the stern of the other ship. Answer. Option B. Due to suction, the two ships will be sucked together. How do you consider the indicated speed for betting? How do you consider the indicated speed for betting? Option A. Too slow. Option B. To be sufficient. Option C. Too fast. Option D. It is up to the pilot to decide. Answer. Option C. Too fast. You are to release the towing wire with four runner. You have three men with you to do the work. How do you do it in a safe way? You are to release the towing wire with four runner. You have three men with you to do the work. How do you do it in a safe way? Option A. Use the winch and four runner to pick up slack. One man to release the eye, lowering the wire down by use of winch. Option B. With manpower, two men picking up slack and one man lifts off the eye and lets go simultaneously. Option C. Use the winch, forerunner and wire stopper to pick up the slack and stop the wire. One man operating each. Make the forerunner fast on the beat, releasing the eye of wire and the stopper. Lower the wire easy by forerunner. Option D. After heaving on the wire by a forerunner, cuts the forerunner and so lets the wire free. Answer. Option C. Use the winch, forerunner and wire stopper to pick up the slack and stop the wire. One man operating each. Make the forerunner fast on the beat, releasing the eye of wire and the stopper. Lower the wire easy by forerunner. How can you minimize the SWAT effect? How can you minimize the SWAT effect? Option A. Maintain your course and speed. Option B. Decrease the speed as much as practicable. Option C. Do a zigzag maneuvering to reduce speed. Option D. Increase speed if the ship is not fully on full ahead. Answer. Option B. Decrease the speed as much as practicable. What can be used to reduce the effect of the state of sea waves? What can be used to reduce the option A vegetable or fish oil, option B foam, option C foil oil, option D crude oil? Answer option A vegetable or fish oil. In the shown situation, the bow of your ship is pushed away from the bank. How can you handle this? In the shown situation, the bow of your ship is pushed away from the bank. How can you handle this? Option A. Give starboard rudder in order to balance the force of the bank effect and rudder effect. Option B. Put your engine full astern to stop your ship. Option C. Give hard port rudder to get the ship back in the middle of the channel. Option D. Do nothing as the ship will handle itself. Answer. Option A. Give starboard rudder in order to balance the force of the bank effect and rudder effect. You are underway on a power-driven vessel in open water. 
When you see another power-driven vessel approximately 5 miles straight ahead on an opposite course, what action do you take? You are underway on a power-driven vessel in open water. When you see another power-driven vessel approximately 5 miles straight ahead on an opposite course, what action do you take? Option A. Make a bold alteration to starboard and pass on its port side. Option B. Make a bold alteration to port and pass on a starboard side. Option C. Stand on with caution as it will alter course. Option D. Try and call him on the VHF to decide on what action to take. Answer. Option A. Make a bold alteration to starboard and pass on a spot side. Thank you everyone for watching. If you find this content interesting, educative, informative or useful, please subscribe like comment share and also i really would love to hear your comments on how to improve on this video thank you very much see you again on monday